I will break down how you can create an AI Telegram chatbot in 2024. And we are going to create a Telegram bot that automatically replies to questions of an e-commerce business and is trained on a custom knowledge base document. And I will guide you step by step. So I will show you what chat automation tool you should use, how you can create your own Telegram chatbot and how you can add AI that is trained on your own data, such as your websites or internal documents about your business. And at the end, I will even give you the template for free so you don't have to build it yourself and you can just copy and paste it. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 50,000 people to generate more leads, boost revenue and reduce costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. And in this video, I'm using the example of an e-commerce business, but this will actually work for any type of business but you can just change the content of the knowledge base document and then train your AI chatbot on it and then your AI chatbot can answer any questions about your business as well so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is create our ManyChat account and ManyChat is the chat automation platform that I've been using for over the last four years for almost all of my clients and I use ManyChat because it's very easy to use you can use them without any chat automation experience they're very cheap so they offer already a free plan but the pay plan already already starts at $15 a month and it's a no code platform. So that means that we can create our Telegram chatbot without writing any code. So if you just go to chatomize.com slash MC, then this will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And then here you can just click on get started and then click on Telegram. And then what you need to do is you need to click on continue with Telegram. And then ManyChat will open up Telegram and will verify your Telegram account. And then you need to verify your email address. And once you have done that, your ManyChat account is created. But I already have a ManyChat account, so I will just sign in. So now I'm signed in to my ManyChat account, and then when I click on settings, and then click on Telegram, then here I can click on connect and then I need to connect with a Telegram bot. And in order to do that, we first need to have a talk with the bot father on Telegram. So I will just go to Telegram on my desktop, but this will also work on your phone. And then you need to search for the bot father. Start it and then here we can start a conversation. Then it says, okay, you can control me. So then we need to say slash new bot, or you can just click here on new bot. So I just type that in and it says, all right, a new bot, how are we going to call it? So I'll just call this Chatomize Telegram AI bot. It's pretty long, but it works. Then we need to choose a username for the bot. And with the username, it's important that it always ends with bot. So I'll just fill in the same thing. And then it says done and then we get a token for the HTTP API and we actually need to click on this token because then it will copy to our clipboard and if we go back to ManyChat then we can just click on connect existing bot paste that bot token and then click on connect and now our telegram chat bot is connected to ManyChat and we can get started with creating our first telegram automation so the first thing that we are going to do is automatically reply to a message so with e-commerce businesses a lot of people are asking about the return policy. So basically every time someone asks a question about the return policy, we want to automatically reply to that question with the return policy of our e-commerce business. So in ManyChat, you can just go to automation and then click on new automation, click on start from scratch, and we will first rename this. So I will rename this to return policy and then telegram. And then each automation in ManyChat consists of a trigger and the content of the flow. So the trigger is the event that starts the automation and the content of the automation is what will happen once it is triggered. So in order to automatically reply to a message, we can just click on new trigger here, click on Telegram and then click on user sends a message. Then we will choose for detect specific words in a message. And then we say if the message contains return and then we can add a message condition. So we can click on this and then we can say, okay, if the the message contains return and the message contains policy then we want to start this automation so here we can just click on create and then we need to determine the content of the automation so here we can just click on telegram and then we can say at e-commerce biz you always have the option of returning your order within 14 days after delivery make sure that the products have not been worn and have all f tags attached when they are returned so it's pretty simple and once you've answered a question with your chatbot you always want to ensure a good customer experience 
experience. And in order to do that, you can ask just a very simple question. You can just ask, does this answer your question? And if they say yes, then we say, okay, awesome, that was it. And if they say no, then we can say, okay, we can connect you with one of our support agents that can actually help them with solving their problem. So what we can do here is we can add a next step, choose again for Telegram, and then we can say, does that answer your question? And then we can add two buttons, one button with yes, it does and one button with nope. So when they click on yes it does, then we are just going to send a very simple message with great, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. If they say no, I need help, what we then can do is we can say no problem, we will now connect you with one of our support agents. And then in order to actually connect them with one of these support agents, we need to add actions to our flow. And this is great about ManyChat. So ManyChat has a built-in live chat. And that means that every time your chatbot doesn't know the answer to a question or one of your customers basically need help, we can connect them with a live chat agent and then your live chat agent can actually solve the problem of the customer. So in order to do that, we can add a next step, click on actions, then click on plus action, choose for live chat and then click on mark the conversation as open. So in ManyChat we have two types of conversations. We have closed conversations and open conversations. Closed conversations are conversations that are handled by your chatbot. Open conversations are conversations that are handled by your support team and your live chat agents. So in this case we need to mark the conversation as open. So once we have opened the conversation then we need to add another action, choose for live chat again and then say assign the conversation. So here we can assign the conversation to a specific team member or to a specific group of team members. So in this case, I would just go with myself. So I will go with Joran. And then lastly, we need to notify the people that are assigned. So here we can just click on add action, click on live chat, and then click on notify SNEs. And then here, you can also determine who needs to be notified. So you can notify the whole team, or I can just notify myself only. And we can also change the notification text. So instead of saying full name, just did something you wanted to know about, we can also say full name has a question probably about returns. So we can now hit set live and then our automation is working. So basically now every time someone sends a message about the return policy, then we say the answer to the question, so what the return policy is. And then we ask, does that answer your question? If they say, yes, it does, then we say, great. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. If they say, no, I need help, then we say, no problem. We will now connect you with one of our support agents. And then we get actually notified of that conversation in our email with a button to the live chat of ManyChat. So up until now, it has been pretty simple. Someone asks us a question in our Telegram bot, we check if we can find certain words in it, and if we can find the words, then we can automatically reply to that question. But we can actually take it one step further, and we can add custom AI that is trained on your own data, such as your website or internal documents about your business. And ManyChat doesn't have built-in AI, so that's why we're going to use Chatbase. So Chatbase is an AI tool that you can use to create a chatbot and train it on your own data, such as your websites or documents about your business. So if you haven't used Chatbase before, you can just go to chatomize.com slash CB, and this will bring you directly to the Chatbase website. So here you can just click on build your chatbot, and then you can create your own account and then add your chatbot there. I already created a chatbot, so if I go to chatbots here, then here I have a chatbot, and this chatbot is trained on a custom knowledge base document. So here I have a simple document that contains information about an e-commerce business. So it contains information about returns, about the return term, about the return policy, about the delivery, about the shipping cost, about tracking your order, about warranty, like all that kind of stuff. So what I've done in Chatbase is that I created a new chatbot and if you go to sources, then you can determine where you want to train your chatbot on. And I already trained it on this custom knowledge base document. And then if you go to here, you can already talk to your chatbot directly. So here I can say something like, okay, what are your warranty conditions and says if your product is broken within eight weeks you will get a full refund or how long does it take to ship my order then it says if you create an order before three it will be shipped from our warehouse within two business days and this is great and what i really like about chatbase is that's really easy to use but also if you go to the dashboard and then go to the logs then here you can see the conversation and if you don't like the answer that chatbase gave you can just click here on revise answer and then you can fill in the response you actually expected and when you're doing this chatbase can automatically learn from the answers that you're giving and automatically improve 
improves itself. So that's what I like about chatbase, very easy to use. And you can very easily improve the answers of your chatbot. So basically what we need to do now is that every time someone is asking a question in ManyChat and in Telegram, we need to send that question to chatbase and then chatbase can answer the question for us and we need to send the answer from chatbase back to ManyChat. And in order to do that, we are going to use Make. So Make is an integration platform that you can use to connect two apps to each other without using any code. And in this case, we are going to use it to connect ManyChat to Chatbase. And if this sounds pretty technical, I actually have a step-by-step -step video where I explain every step of this integration and how you can create this yourself. In this video, I will just use the integration that I already created and I will explain it a bit. But if you want to deep dive in it and want to understand understand every step of this integration, I highly recommend going to the video that probably appears over here. So if you haven't used Make before, you can just go to chatomize.com slash make. And if you use my link, which is also in the description, you get one month of the pro plan for free. And then afterwards, you can also decide to just go to the free plan of Make because Make already has a pretty good free plan, but you can use the pro plan for free for one month if you're using my link. So in order to create this integration, we are going to start in ManyChat. So if we go back to ManyChat, chat then here we have the settings then we have telegram and then here we have the default reply and the default reply is the automation in many chat that triggers if no other automation is triggered so every time someone is sending a message to your telegram bot and no other automation is triggered for example by using one of the keywords like we did before with the return policy then the default reply is triggered so basically every time they ask a question we want to trigger the default reply and we're going to use the default reply to send that question to chatbase so so what you need to do here is you need to click on select existing and then click on the telegram default reply and this automation is also part of the free template that you can download with the link in the description so you can just download that template in your ManyChat account and then you can use this automation so here you can just click on pick this automation and then click on it and then there are three important parts with this automation so the first thing is the trigger so we need to trigger this every time someone sends a message so we need to set this to every time that's very important then we are going to save the last input. So the last text input, which is basically the question from someone, we are going to save that to the user field chat base question. And this is just a field in ManyChat where we can store data. And then lastly, we are going to trigger make to send the question to chat base. And then if we go to make, then this is what that integration looks like. So what we're doing is we're waiting on data from ManyChat. So every time this is triggered, then this will start. Then we are going to save send the question to chatbase then chatbase will answer the question for us and then we are going to add the answer to a custom field in ManyChat so that will be the custom field chatbase answer and then lastly we are going to send a ManyChat automation and to show you what that automation looks like then I go to the chatbase answer telegram and this is also part of my free template and then what we do here is we just give the answer from chatbase and then we ask does this answer your question and then if they say yes then say okay awesome that's fine if they say no I need help no problem one of our agents will contact you as soon as possible and it's basically the same flow as what we did with the return policy but now we're using custom AI and we can automatically answer questions about the business and that's it so those are all the automations that you need to add AI to your telegram chatbot and before we're going to test our chatbot there's just one thing we need to do left we need to add a welcome message to our telegram bot and the welcome message is the first message that someone gets when they start a conversation with our bot and in order to set this up we can just go to settings go to telegram and here you can find the welcome message so then we can just click on create a new reply and then we can say you can click here and then we can say and we just copy this hey I'm the digital assistant of e-commerce biz I will try to answer your question if I don't know the answer I can always connect you with a support agent what is your question about please type in your question below and that's basically all you need to do because now if somebody replies to this question then our return policy automation will trigger or the default reply will trigger so we can just click on update here and now it is live and then we need to make sure that the trigger is also enabled so I click on this then I enable this and then it should be working so now we head over to telegram then we can test out our telegram bot 
So now I am in Telegram and I can just click on start and it says, hey, I'm the digital assistant of e-commerce biz. I will try to answer your question. If I don't know the answer, I can always connect you. What is your question about? So then I ask, what is your return policy? Because this will trigger the return policy automation. Then it says at e-commerce biz, you always have the option of returning your order within 14 days. Does that answer your question? And I can say, yes, it does. And it says, great. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. And I can say, okay, how long does it take to to ship my order then says if you create an order before three it will be shipped from our warehouse within two business days and this is actually generated by chatbase so we can also do something else how can i get warranty on my products and says to get warranty on your products please send an email to info at ecommerce biz with your order number and a picture of the broken item does this answer your question then i say no i need help and it says no problem one of your agents will contact you as soon as possible to help you and then if we go back to many chat and then go to the live chat then if you go to the conversations that are assigned to you then you will see here that this conversation has been assigned to me and it says okay no i need help and here you can see the complete conversation someone has with your telegram up. So here, when you start typing, so when you send them a message and say, hey, Joran here, then the automation will be passed automatically. And then you can just have a back and forward conversation with your customer. And once you have solved the problem, then you can just click on this cross here, which will enable the chatbot again, and then click on mark as closed. And then everything is fixed. But that's it. That's how you can create your own AI Telegram chatbot in 2024. And if you want to get started quickly, you can just download the template with the link in the description. If you want to get more experience with ManyChat, I actually have an Instagram and a WhatsApp beginner course for ManyChat on my website. So I highly recommend checking that out as well. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on using Make, using Chatbase or using ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I'll reply as soon as possible.